How's beautiful Virgos? How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So my lovelies, we are going to be doing your April weekly reading. Now this reading is going to go from the 5th through the 11th. It is a general reading and it may not be able to resonate for all of you. So guys, if you want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do a personals open. And everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that will be in the description box below for you. So Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding from my very most beautiful Virgos, please. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through, and may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Virgos energy, a very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my lovelies, let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you. We have the Sun card and the, okay, we have the Sun card, we have the Three of Swords, and the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I do feel like, uh, you have two twos here as well. They're going to have a decision to make here, Virgo. Um, you're about to have a decision to make here. And there's some communication coming in that I feel like brings up a lot of different emotions. On one hand, I feel like it does make you happy. Um, it, it does. It does. It's undeniable. I mean, it does. Someone's coming in expressing some kind of feelings to you, some kind of emotions to you. And it really does make you happy. You can't help it. Um, that being said, I feel like this is somebody who's caused you a great deal of pain. And I feel like you're not sure, um, you know, whether you, it's a, what's best for you to reconcile with them or not. I feel like you're getting, you're really in your head about it. Wow. Uh, you know, the potential here for having a new beginning with this person um, is here. And I feel like if this person could really equally give and do the right thing, I feel like this person has done you wrong in the past, though. Okay, so I feel like some, this is somebody who has hurt you. This is somebody who's done wrong in the past. This is somebody who didn't really give to the connection the way that you deserve to. Um, and I feel like all of these different things are coming up. On one hand, you have a lot of emotion for this person, so you're happy, but you're thinking about the pain that they've caused. You're not sure what you should do. Do you have a brand new beginning? Do you turn them down? You know, it's a lot of emotions, um, a lot of different conflicting emotions. I feel like one of the things is, is in your headspace, I feel like you are trying to decide whether you believe somebody's remorse. Somebody's coming in and, you know, expressing how they feel to you and um, coming across very remorseful, having a lot of regrets, five of swords in the reverse. And I feel like you're trying to decide, um, you know, if you believe that. Do you really believe that they've changed? Do you really believe that they truly regret the things that they've done? I feel like that's something that you're questioning. You know, in order to you know, forgive them and to move forward with that, you have to leave a comfort zone here. Okay. You have to, you have to decide to really trust them. I feel like you're asking yourself, do I, do I really believe that in your heart space? You got the world card in the reverse and the king of swords. I don't think, you know, um, the world card in the reverse tells me that it still feels very open with this person. You know, that it's there still feels like there's unfinished business or things haven't, you know, aren't really over. So the world card in the reverse tells us that, you know, there still feels like things are not really over between the two of you. Like this isn't finished. It's not really over. Um, you know, that it still feels very open. Okay. But the king of swords tells us that there is something about it that you're not fully trusting. Um, you want the truth, you're facing the situ situation head on, but you're also ready to cut it off at any moment's notice, okay? So, I don't feel like you fully trust this person. Got the Two of Swords here and the Six of Swords in the reverse for um, your true intentions. So, this kind of feels to me that, one, I feel like you're you're delaying making a decision um, because you are 
you know, not sure what to do here. So this can be just delayed making a decision. Um, there's some things that you don't want to look at um, as well, I feel. Um, but I do feel like you're, you know, haven't fully moved past this connection, this situation. This is not something, you know, that's why it still feels very open. You haven't, you haven't, if you're honest with yourself, you haven't been able, you haven't moved on from this yet. So I do feel like, um, you know, you're, you're just taking a look at everything, but I do feel like you're delaying making a decision here. Now you get the nine of pentacles in the reverse and the queen of pentacles in the reverse for your action. So yeah, the Queen of Pentacles can be a crossroads energy. I just still feel like that is that energy of you kind of delaying, trying to put off as long as possible, making a decision. I feel like you haven't really committed to anything else or not in the same way. And I feel like that's because a part of you has been tied to this. You've tied yourself to this. And what I mean by that is even though you've been in separation from this person, you know, this is who you wanted. And you wanted this to work out. You haven't fully been able to move on from this yet so that's why you haven't been able to like fully give yourself to something else because you a part of you has been tied to this situation so let's grab another deck let's take a look at the person that you're dealing with and what their energy is towards you we have the ace of swords popped out there so definitely communication show me this person's energy towards virgo show me this person's energy towards virgo what is their energy towards Virgo, please? Ooh. What is their energy towards Virgo, please? Five of Cups. So, yeah, they're disappointed. They're missing you. They want some kind of change here. Let's see what we got going on. We have the world in the reverse. First card out. this though Virgo I'm gonna be honest with you I don't like it I really don't um I feel like a lot of things came out about this person I do feel like this is somebody who's hurt you in a big way okay somebody who's betrayed you um I do feel like they are really reflecting on that okay on the secrets that came out the pain that they caused the disconnect that it caused um I do feel like there's a lot of worry from them that you've already released them I don't think that you have some of you guys it might not be the person that you're holding on to it but it is the situation it is the pain and the trauma and everything that they've caused um that still makes it feel like it's very open now they have the world in the reverse and the nine of wands in the reverse so they have not given up on this this still feels very open this is still what they want um yeah got the ace of wands in the reverse and the ten of wands in the reverse for their heart space I do feel like there's a lot of anxiety for them surrounding um, whether you're going to be able to forgive them or not, whether you're going to be able to get past all of this or not. I feel like they're kind of looking to you and looking to the situation, to this communication to kind of lift you know, that weight off of them. They just want to know, okay, because I do feel like not knowing how it's going to be received has been really weighing on them and they just want that weight lifted with that energy here. They do worry that you've already released them, that you're kind of disgusted with them as well. They're, they, they worry that whatever they've done here is too much to be forgiven for. And I know, guys, I know that we've had this, this same energy in not all of your readings recently, but especially like a month or so ago, a lot of your readings were, um, you know, very similar, having a very similar energy of somebody feeling like they can't be forgiven for what they've done. And then I feel like that's coming up as, as well again, okay? Now we have the six of, their true intentions are the six of pentacles and the queen of wands. So they are ready to kind of put the work in here. They are ready for that. And, you know, that is something that they want. It's like they figure finally figured out what's going to make them happy. And they're ready to, um, to give to that situation. That being said, I don't really like this. Okay? I don't really like this. Um, it's very, it's, it's all about them, you know, I'm going to be honest, it's a lot of this energy is like, oh, I know what I want and I'm ready to, I'm ready to get it now. Um, even their action though is 
seven of pentacles in the reverse tells me they're only willing to put so much work in you know they're not willing to invest too much the knight of wands he is not the he's not the knight that i want you know what i mean he's inconsistent he's wishy-washy he's all about what he wants and what feels good in that moment um you know he's a good time but he's not he doesn't stay um you know that's kind of the energy and it they're only willing to invest so much so they figured out that, you know, you make them happy and they, and they want that, but they're only willing to do so much for it. They're only willing to put so much work in. And they do want to know that you've been, you you know, that you'll forgive them. You know, that has been weighing on them that they can get you back. Um, because, but, but that's all, again, it's all about them and all about what they want, okay? Um, and I, I just, I don't really care for the energy, but it's up to you guys on what you guys want to do. Um, you know, you guys have free will and... It's my job just to show you, you know, what, what it looks like. Someone who's not willing to invest too much into this, it kind of does feel like, a, like a, showing up is like a waste of time. Somebody who's inconsistent, somebody who, you know, it's a little bit of a playboy, playgirl type energy, a little wishy-washy type of an energy. Um, but they've decided that this is what they want. So only you guys get to decide what's best for you. I do feel like a lot of you guys already don't trust this, okay? You I'll, you don't, you know, king of swords energies here, questioning whether or not you can trust them. If that's the thing, if you're really trying to question whether you can trust them or not, I wouldn't, but, um, you know, I, I only you guys get to decide what's best for you. But this is what I'm seeing. We're gonna grab another deck and we're gonna take a look at what your biggest challenge is this week and what you don't see coming. Show me what Virgo's biggest challenge is this week. Show me what Virgo's biggest challenge is this week. What is Virgo's biggest challenge? The Seven of Cups. It's not knowing what to do. Um, not knowing what you can believe. You know, not knowing what you can trust. Not knowing what's true, what's not true. So seeing through the illusion, you know, that is your biggest challenge this week. It is, I try very hard. It, it is, I think the most difficult part of being a reader is keeping your personal opinions out of it. I try very hard, but I care about you guys so much that it's difficult for me to do that sometimes. It's something that is my biggest challenge. It is something I struggle with. Um, got the four of wands. Yeah, I feel like there's a part of you that really wants to believe it, but you know, your challenge is really just trying to discern whether what's true or not. What doesn't Virgo see coming? What doesn't Virgo see coming here? The Four of Pentacles. But they've still been holding on to this and that a part of you has too. That there's something that there's things that need to be, you know, released. And the Four of Cups. Yeah, two fours. So something with also the foundation in itself. I do feel like there's a message there. You know, your guys' this foundation is even, um, you know, needs some attention. But... Four of Pentacles, Four of Cups. You know, I feel like some of you guys could be choosing to um, reject this with that energy or protect your heart. In the traditional Rider Waite deck, he has his, like, in the Four of Cups, he's got his arms crossed over his chest. It's like protecting his heart. Um, he's very closed off. So I do feel like some of you guys could be choosing to release this um, because you're trying to protect your heart and you don't fully trust it. But that is what I see for you guys now. If this resonates, let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that is in the description box below for you. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, guys, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, just go ahead and put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below. And I will go through and pray for you. So I am sending so much love and light until next time.